Oh God. It's not a baked potato, Frank. <laughs> Welcome to Lower in the Bar. I'm your host, Vibs. Schools are back in session, so it is time to get educated. I have three-fourths of a biology degree, which means I'm essentially qualified to do nothing except teach science at Barstool, which is why today we are learning about frog anatomy. Who here is a scientist? Who here is just essentially grossed out by the whole thing? Let's find out. Tommy Smokes. Welcome back to Lower in the Bar. Hey. Do you believe in science? No. I'm notoriously not a science guy. Tommy Smokestacks has been your, your name. <laughs> yeah. You, you, yeah, no, global warming, uh, I, I don't not believe in it, I just like it. Frankie Borelli, welcome back to the bar. Thank you. Do you believe in science? Sure do. I very much believe in science, yes. Yeah, I think so. I'd okay. say so, yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Are there people who said no? Funny guys. I don't Irony think, boys. I don't think anyone said no. Eh. Yeah, somewhat. If you could dissect any animal in the world, what would you dissect? Ooh. I feel like I want to dissect kind of a big animal so I could really get my hands in there. Mm -hmm. um, maybe like a deer. I think if it, it would be an interesting thing to maybe get one of those insane magnifying glasses and do bugs per se, that would be kind of cool. I prefer to dissect nothing. My life's fine as is with zero dissections, but mm -hmm. if you told me I had to dissect something, I'd, I'd dissect the human brain. Maybe like a cow just because like, just to see like where all the meat comes from and stuff, that'd be kind of cool. I'm not really curious of like what's inside of things. That's never really been me. I'm perfectly content with outsides. I don't want to dissect anything. You're fine with what's on the outside. All right. I know it's like a classic high school thing. I don't know if I ever dissected a frog. Where do you even buy these? Online. Now, oh my God. you gotta say you're Mr. Bro. Beresford of a fourth grade science class and he's teaching his students about the life cycle, but. This thing is huge. Look at this fucking thing. I'm less excited now that I see it. I am now less excited now that I see it. I gotta be honest, I feel horrible. You grab one foot, I'll grab the other. Let's be gentle. Be gentle. All right, so this one does, oop. Oh, you got covered in juice. Yep, got from out high all over me. Let's get the instruments out. Okay, see, like what you see there? Yeah. The dissecting part isn't what freaks me out. It's the cutting and the breaking. Yeah. Right? Going through the rib cage like, is I, pretty Like, that's gross. not, so like in high school, like I was okay going, I was okay going inside. Um, but not doing the actual opening of it. I feel like I'm in high school right now. This, this is, is my first ever dissecting of someone. Dr. Trent, scalpel? Scalpel. You wanna say scalpel? Hand scalpel. Hand you. you wanna ask for the scalpel? Scalpel. 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 I have the scalpel. You're a very, very nice doctor. Not, not in a rush. Mm. All right, I'm just gonna dig into this fucker. This is awful. Oh my God, I felt it puncture. Oh! Yep, you're doing a great job. I wanna cry. Oh! Oh. I guess this happens to us, right? I'll be making the first incision right below the jaw. Down to its little frog dick. La 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 cut. So that's the sternum right there, so you're gonna be careful right there. Cutting Kermit, cutting. Why? Are you wearing a ring on your glove? Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't, it was under my, it was on my finger. I mean, and I didn't want it to get lost, and it's, you know, fashion doesn't sleep. You have oh. such a gentle touch, oh, we forgot baby. to pin the, the, yeah. the digits down. We don't have any pens. And we need to check if it was a male or female. But I'll be able to tell soon enough. Do I go all the way down? Oh, oh I just cut his dick. You're good. Oh, I thought there was going to be some yeah. juices. No, so it's a, careful, careful, because it's right under there. So you want to cut through the first layer of skin. It's tough, but careful. What the fuck are you talking about? So there's the chest cavity, that's the ribs. Are you fucking- You see that little juice that squirted out when you kind of- This is fucking gross. Yeah, yeah. The fact that we're just acting like this is normal is crazy town. That's the thing about dissection. You gotta do your work first and have fun a little bit later. <laughs> You're gonna need to- <laughs> You're gonna need to identify the parts in there, so be careful. Be a little- All right, I cut it. <laughs> Oh, there's juice in there. Oh, it's kind of gross. It just smells. Can you, can you find the heart? That, right yep, there. Yep, yep. The lungs? These? No, that's the liver. Oh man, this is disgusting. You might want to keep cutting a little more. You're doing a good job of peeling. Oh, nice, nice, Ooh. you got through it. Yeah. <gasps> oh, the inside is gross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's gross. All right. I just got a peek of the insides and that was not friendly. We might have our first female. All these eggs on here? Has anyone ever told you you have a gentle touch? No. 
I have the fine motor skills of a much smaller child and the shakiness of a much older man. You really know your way around a frog. They're pretty much like any other person. I'm gonna go ahead and cut through the sternum, but you wanna be careful because you don't wanna nick anything. You'd like scissors to go? It's a little bit barbaric, but we are pressed for time. It's like a man handling the frog a little bit. Nothing can be as bad as Frank. It's not a baked potato, Frank. Uh, <laughs> you might wanna have a little... <laughs> He's dead, what does it matter? That's true, but you... you... He's not feeling anything. That's right. <laughs> oh, God damn it! Had to. This is literally like the Andre the Giant of frogs. Look how yeah. massive this one is. This is crazy. Clip that and pull it back, and I'll clip this one. Oh! Ew, that looks like fucking something you'd make us eat I'd, inside of him. Yeah. <laughs> I'd almost, I'd, I'd, I'd make a cut there. Oh, God. Okay, that was okay. a deep one, that was a deep one. You're really cutting. He's fucking dead already, Vibs. So crunchy, don't do that crunchy, crunchy. I don't know if I went through it all the way. Remember when we used to eat spicy things on the show? Yeah. Remember when it was like, hey, can you eat this super spicy warhead? Or sour warhead? And now I'm just ripping through this frog's chest cavity. The scariest part is that we're somewhat similar to this. That's what I don't enjoy. Yeah, we like share like, I don't know, like 70% of the same DNA as frogs. Like how, how do we not? have sex, get pregnant, and make a frog if we share the same DNA, you know what I mean? You see the little tiny tan line on the finger? Yeah. Married. Oh. You can see his heart. Well, you know he doesn't play for the Mets. Looks <laughs> like he might have been a smoker. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're ripping his liver out almost. <laughs> what is this thing? Would you? <laughs> that's, that's a stomach. That's a stomach. You are. What? How am I so? Matt, you're just eviscerating his penis. You've been definitely the quickest. This just goes to show you, A-plus doctors, not necessarily the best with their hands. <laughs> I'm at my fucking limit. I feel surprised that I was able to do that. Yeah, you did a great job. That I was that I was able to cut open the frog and then peer inside. Did you say you learned something today? Yeah, I think so. I don't think I can stick my fingers in it anymore. I feel like it's now gone too long, yeah. to the point where it's maybe a little weird. But this is interesting to me. You feel like you learned something today? Yeah, no, that was a blast from the past. Yeah. Like a Gushers commercial. Do I feel like I learned anything? No, because much like my schooling, as soon as I walk that way, I'm gonna forget all of it. They say don't take your work home with you, but I kind of want to. You could, yeah, take it. Yeah? Yeah. Do you, right. have, do you have a name for it? Everyone else is kind of No, I don't want to get too attached. Okay. I'll name him Jeff. My favorite biblical name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you can, I'm gonna keep, I'm taking this. Yeah, I have one. Okay. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? You'll be cut up at Barstool Sports. This is how it ends.